All right. So yesterday I vlogged the entire day on the stuff that we were eating and I didn't really get a chance to eat my veggie burrito bowl on camera because we, uh, my husband got home and anyways, we ate as a family on the dining table and I didn't really feel like recording that. So I thought today I could show you guys because I'm having lunch and I will show you guys what I did. I assembled everything together. So this is the veggie burrito bowl that I'm going to be having. I have the rice that I made yesterday. I'll link that video up in the cards in case you guys want to see the process of all of that. I have some pinto beans. They were from the olla, but I refried them this morning and I added a little bit of cumin, uh, smoked paprika, and oregano, dried oregano flakes to it. And I didn't add any additional salt aside from what I had added into the pot when I boiled them. So what I usually like is grilled vegetables in my burrito bowl. And I got the burrito bowl idea from Chipotle, Chipotle because I really like their burrito bowls, but it always messes up my stomach for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and that's just grilled vegetables. I have onions, bell peppers. I have red bell peppers, orange bell peppers, jalapeno. This was really spicy when I had it last night because I added an additional chile, which is my chili oil. And I should have tasted it first because it was super, super spicy. So now I have the beans, the rice, and my rice, I like it extra crispy. Let me show you guys. Like the I like the bottom to be really crispy like that. So everybody else in my family will get the top part and I always scrape the bottom because that's my favorite part. It's so good. Mmm. And I swear to you, my entire family can eat this every single day. We love it so much. Mm. Okay, so I have the grilled vegetables. And then what I do is add the lettuce. A ton of lettuce. And cucumber. Sometimes I'll cut up some fresh tomato, but I'm out actually, so... Can't really do that. And I'll add some shredded cheese on my kids and my husband if they want some. I can add cotija sometimes if I'm in the mood. I'm not in the mood for that right now, so... I'm just gonna have it like this and then I'm gonna add some sour cream and sometimes I'll add corn to it just whatever we have if I don't have cucumber I'll add zucchini very thinly sliced and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of my chili oil just a little bit though see that oh it's so good it's so freaking good and it smells super smoky and delicious. I'm only going to add a little dash of it though. Because this is... It was really spicy yesterday and we couldn't really eat it. I mean, we could eat it, but suffering through it. The good thing was that I could still taste my food. I don't like spicy food to where I can't... I can't savor it. I don't know how people eat like this. <laughs> but I tried to lift this up so you guys can see... See the food. And anything goes with the burrito bowls. You're gonna hear my kid because she's gonna do laundry right now. <laughs> mm. It's so good. I know this looks like a lot. This is filling but not filling to where I'm uncomfortable ever. I don't ever feel like yuck, you know, every time I eat it. Mm. Let's get a little close up so you guys can see. Oh my God, my camera's kind of far away. Let's do a little close up of the food. Look at that. It's packed with a lot of goodness. The good thing about this dish is that you can pretty much add whatever you want to it. I'm trying not to show my, my pits here, but it's so hot. So, no, um, 
short sleeves it is. Or no sleeves, basically. Mm. I think it'll be okay. Hmm? I was thinking about the noise right now. Oh. But it's alright. Sorry. That's okay. Mmm. Every time I go to Chipotle, I always get a veggie burrito bowl. And then I get the chips and guac on the side. It's really good. I have tried their sofrito, which I think is the soy one. Their faux meat. And it's good, but I prefer with just extra vegetables. Because I love veggies. Let's try to get a little bit of everything. Mmm. This is my husband's, one of his favorite dishes. And he's a meat eater. Like, he loves a lot of meat. So am I. I do eat meat. But I don't eat it very often. Tonight, for instance, I'm going to make some chicken breast. But a lot of the dishes that I make. Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. I just forgot. Oh, look at that. Tomato. Mmm. Sorry. Mmm. I think I was telling you about us going to the beach this weekend. Everything was great all day. I got real burned, by the way. You see that? Had a ton of fun. And then at night, we start hearing a name. People calling this little boy, calling for him. And then someone came to our camp where we were. We had our bonfire going. They came to our group basically and asked if we had seen a little boy that his name was Andrew and they couldn't find him and we asked immediately how old is he, what is he wearing three year old three to four year old I think is what the, the guy had said because he's not, he wasn't the dad, he's the friend of the dad or something he gave us his description and my friend and I immediately got up and we, we went straight for the water because in my mind, I'm thinking, if I was a child, what would I do if I was to run off? And I'm thinking, okay, we're, we're at the beach. Kids always want to be by the water or playing in the water. And that day, the tides, the current was really, really strong. I mean, it was knocking everybody down. It was really strong and it was coming very close to shore. Like further in, even where the sand starts lifting, so the moment you start walking down, the water's already hitting you. So my friend and I started walking to the, the the water and we started asking little groups that were sitting on the sand if they had seen a little boy. And everybody said no. So we walked towards the water. Mind you, the water was already, if we went down, the water was already there and it was really, really strong. And I was just thinking to myself at that moment, God, please don't let don't let this little boy, hopefully he didn't come to the water. Hopefully he's still on the sand somewhere. That was my first thing because that water would have taken him. It could easily take a teenager. I mean, the, the currents were that strong. So we didn't see him. We started walking back. At this point, it seems that there was other people already looking for him also aside from the group that he was from. 
And so, oh man, I just dropped my jalapeno. Freaking A. Mm -hmm. That one looks really good too. So we walked back to our group. And then my friend and I started walking. No, it's me. Um, it's me. Started walking on the pavement by the parking lot and we started just walking towards one of the lights. And just kept asking people all along the way and nobody had seen them. And then we got, we were closer to the light. By then, there were no more bonfires, there's no lighting. It was extremely, extremely dark. We were basically by the street. And my friend and I were walking and I happened to look to the side. There was, I mean, mind you, I couldn't really see very far. I didn't have my glasses on. Um, and I saw something moving like this, like a little wisp, almost. And I turned and then I turned back. Because I didn't really, I, I didn't know if I had seen something or it was just my eyes playing because I was trying to focus so, so bad to see. And it just kept running. Not running, but it was moving. And then I, I guess I started walking away from my friend. I didn't even say anything to her. I just started walking. And she told me later on, she thought, okay, maybe she just wants to go to the sand and I'll just keep walking this way. I'll keep looking this way and she can go that way. That's fine. But I didn't say anything to her. I just saw something and I just started walking, immediately walking. And then I said, okay, it looks like it's something red that's moving. I couldn't tell if it was an adult. I couldn't tell if it was a child. I couldn't tell if it was a dog. I couldn't tell. And then I just yelled his name and the little movement just stopped. And at that moment, I said, oh my God, okay, it's, it stopped. So it must be the little boy. So I started walking faster and I said his name again and then he started running this way and that's when I was like, oh my God, thank you Jesus. And I just said, Andrew, Andrew, and I put my arms out because that's just I just wanted to hug him and he, once he saw me and he, he didn't recognize me, obviously, he went like, he was running like this and then he saw me and he went like this and I was like, oh no. And then I. I thought in my mind, I'm like, okay, he's clearly, he looks so scared, first of all, because he was lost. And then the fact that it was me, someone who he doesn't know, um, I'm, I'm all here like trying to put my arms out for him. I think he got even more scared. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Um, your dad is looking for you. And I just started guiding him with my hand like this, trying not to touch him. And I'm like, look, somebody's running or coming this way. Cause at that point, their camp was already coming this way where we were. And they were yelling for his name and I said, look over there, I think I, that's your dad. It wasn't his dad, it's his dad's best friend who was coming. And once he recognized him, he started running towards him. Oh my God. Thank God we found him. And it seemed by then that a bunch of other people had started looking and I'm so happy that they did and I was I was just telling my friend I'm so thankful that he didn't go to the water that's like the one thing and when we were walking towards the light I was telling my friend if we can't find him this way we need to start looking in campers sadly that's where my mind goes because I'm thinking there's a bunch of campers there um, and mobile home kind of stuff. So we started in, in the parking lot of the beach. People were just camping out. And I'm like, we're gonna have to start knocking on campers or something because they had already called the lifeguards, but they weren't there yet for some reason. They, it took them a while to get there. Um, but thankfully, anyways, thankfully, we were able to find them. And I've been struggling with my sight at night. It's really hard for me to focus or really see things. Um, and I told my husband, I'm like, dude, here I am complaining that I'm struggling painting my nails at night, but my sight worked when it needed, when it mattered, you know? Because I just happened to see him, luckily. And thankfully, nobody took him. Thankfully, nothing. He was fine. Other than being scared, he was completely fine. And...
we were just amazed at the amount of people that started looking for the little boy. And my daughters, when I got there, were like, oh, you went to look for him? I'm like, yeah, because if that was to happen to me, because the, that can happen to any parent, dude. In a matter of a second, your kid can run off, you know? And at that time, there was still quite a bit of people there, and it was very, very dark. Um, it, just, it could happen to anybody, you know? Um, and I would like to think that if something was to happen to, to us like that, that pe other people would join in and help out as well. Because it could go wrong. And we were walking back and the mom came. And we were already away, you know, we were walking away because we wanted to give the little boy and his family space. And the mom just ran and was screaming, crying, and I just, I couldn't contain it. I started crying. It's like a parent's worst nightmare. Mm -mm. I can't imagine. What time is it? Oh, we still have time. And luckily for them, he was wearing something red. Smart. Very smart. Oh, crud. I don't know how people eat like this. There's food all over my floor. Mmm, I love the rice this cr like crispy because it's also a little chewy. I think you just spilled it. Mm-hmm. Because it was standing there. You had ice though, right? Outside of the cup. But it was a lot of water. It was like somebody dropped it and then just put it there. It's probably the ice one. Okay. I know that I think this is a short one, but I'm done. I'm pretty full. Let's go. Still have a little bit left, but probably eat that later or something. I have somewhere to go. I just realized. So thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.